tyranny blue We'll all melt away Where the will of the people, a law that was passed by the people of D.C., cannot be implemented. That is because, my friends, we do not live in a democracy. You are here in the District of Columbia, which is one of the last colonies of the United States of America. We do not have senators. We do not have members of Congress. We do not have the basic rights that you all who live in the 50 states take for granted. And so we need you. We need your help. We've worked hard. We've put our blood and sweat our lives into protecting patients here in Washington, D.C. But we need your help. So you got, you're the ones who are going to have to go and, and work that Congress to get the Barr Amendment removed. They're going to try to renew it again so that we can ultimately implement the will of the people of the District of Columbia. For patients, we need the medicine now. A lot of us don't have five or ten years to wait. Medical marijuana now. I currently take several different medications that could cause me to die, even though they've been prescribed by a doctor. Some of the scientists I've had the pleasure to meet have explained to me that there is no history of marijuana killing its patients. You can't smoke enough to overdose. Cannabis is an ancient herbal remedy. Its use has been documented back several centuries on several different continents. It is outrageous that a plant that has been created by the divine forces has been declared illegal by an ignorant government. We don't have our whole lives to fight. You know, some of us could be dying tomorrow. We need this medicine now. Medical Patients have testified to the dramatic relief that just small doses of marijuana can bring. They report that meta marijuana has effectively stimulated their appetite, restoring weight gain and vitality in many wasting diseases like cancer and AIDS. Many patients who are suffering from chronic pain have found that low doses of marijuana greatly improve pain control. This allows the patients to use lower doses of narcotics and other more debilitating pain relievers. Patients with painful muscle spasms and conditions like multiple sclerosis can find relief without the sedating effects of most of the muscle relaxants now legally available. The suffering which frequently accompanies the chemotherapy for some cancers like lymphoma, breast cancer, lung cancer or leukemia, or which frequently accompanies treatment for other conditions like AIDS, can be so severe that patients have been known to choose death rather than undergo the tortures of repeated cycles of these crippling chemotherapies. I'm here because of a personal reason. One of my sons has hepatitis C, and he's been using marijuana to uh, help with the nausea. But even if my son did not have hepatitis, I would be here anyway, because I believe that people with glaucoma, AIDS, cancer, and a number of other conditions must have access to marijuana to help them with a variety of, of symptoms that they suffer. So I just want to say thank you all for coming out. I hope our ranks grow in number as the day goes on. And um, we'll fight for this. And we're going to look down on Barry McCaffrey. And we're going to say, shame on you, Barry McCaffrey, for attacking people that need medical marijuana. OK, let's go to the drug czar's office. of 1999 I was diagnosed with breast cancer the pain I cannot even tell you the pain was like shooting comets that were in my breast to the point that my husband and I would find ourselves just holding each other till finally somebody put a joint to my mouth and told me I would be okay that I would be okay. 
I want to tell you that as my role as a care provider, I've had to look into the eyes of a lot of people who are suffering and dying, and many of those people are not here today. And if I had to wait for somebody to tell me that it was the right thing to do to reach out my hand and help them, I wouldn't have amounted to much as a human being in this planet. And I just want to say to all the people that are in our government, that aren't there for you, I just want you to realize this. I want you to give thanks for your health. I want you to realize today that your health is very precious and your strength, your vitality, your full potential to be everything that you want to be in this world. And you don't know what it's like for somebody with a severe disability or a terminal illness to feel cheated and have part of their potential taken away from them in their life. Give thanks for your health today, because you may not have it tomorrow. You may be in these people's shoes, and you may understand what we're talking about. Stop killing the patients. 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 I would like to challenge America to open its mind and realize that not all things are black, simply black and white. Cannabis has medicinal value for many people. I challenge America to open its eyes and to see the, uh, see the people whose quality of life has improved vastly from medicinal cannabis. I challenge America to open its ears and to listen to the doctors and the medical professionals who are telling us that cannabis can be a safe and better alternative uh, to other prescription medications. I challenge America to open their mouths and speak out to their politicians and community leaders and enlighten them to the benefits of cannabis. I challenge America to open its heart and to set aside its prejudices and show compassion for those suffering and not stand in the way of the opportunity for them to have a better quality of life. Stop killing the patients! Shame on you, Mary Shame on you! What do we want? Save Throughout history, cannabis has been prescribed, recommended, administered, and used. Cannabis was the superstar drug of the 19th century, making up one half of all medicine sold. From 1850 to 1937, U.S. pharmaceutical companies listed cannabis as the primary medicine for more than 100 diseases. My brothers and sisters, I encourage you to get involved. Grassroots advocacy must be your friend. Call your legislatures, write letters, send emails, attend hearings, vote. To all prisoners of consciousness in this war against cannabis and to the enduring spirit for the people everywhere who risk it all for the sick and for the dying and for the healing, I thank you. Let us restore America to its standards of justice and freedom for all. Let us reschedule marijuana and make this herb available to anyone who can benefit for its wonderful, miraculous medical properties. Thank you. Keep supporting us all, the 4th of July Hemp Coalition, the Millennium Marijuana March next week, a Proposition 59 and Wayne Turner and Patience Without Time. And you know what? We're going to be defeating Bob Barr and General McCaffrey. And we're not going away. We're going to be here. We're going to be fighting till we get this law changed.